Oopsie Daisy. I haven't uploaded in a while. I think that's just gonna become the channel's motto. Oops. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my eternal struggle for mental sanity in the world of City Skylines. Uh, today we're kind of doing a new take on an idea I did a while back, which was me constantly blowing stuff up in City Skylines and suffering the consequences of it. But yeah, the concept is pretty simple but I have overcomplicated it to the fact that I require multiple tabs open in Google Chrome, which means I'm putting somewhat some effort into this idea. I deserve a like and a subscribe for that at least, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Eternal struggling. So the premise is pretty simple. We're here to make my life miserable and yours entertain. Oh, I'm gonna be real with you, game. I don't think now is the time to be building museum like at all because today i'm letting fate decide pretty much everything i do in this video game and uh we've really had quite a budget increase on the show today because as you can see we've implemented a spinning wheel that's right every five minutes i'll be hitting the wheel of absolute destruction and wherever it lands we will be hitting with a giant meteor i know i finally gone to willdecide.com and I've just let that play the game and make my content for me. Now, obviously, to decide where we are going to start off building, I'm also going to hit the wheel decide button. So everyone sit back and prepare to be amazed by the production quality of willdecide.com. Okay, we're going to China. All right, which is pretty handy because uh, I didn't really think about it too much, but we're not going to be using any unlimited money or stuff like that. No cheats this time around. We are trying to survive on our own regards here, and uh, we, we do need to get to that highway. So we're going to start off cheap. We're, we're going to get a dirt road. Okay, so the timer is already running right now. There's no way for me to show you that, but uh, as soon as it... I just took out a bit of the Great Wall of China there. Sorry. Sorry, China. I know that's really important to you guys. Guys, but uh, <laughs> I need to put some down some dirt road. Hey, imagine that in real life. Just ah, uh, you know, our, our great national prestige right there. Uh, can we just get that out the way? Because we need to build some dirt road. Okay, I got three minutes on the clock. I put down all our starting stuff. Um, the, we got a little bit of stuff going on. I'm really trying to, you know, just make some money quickly while we can before. Uh, well, you know. We'll die. All right, that's already, that's not looking too good. Uh, guys, uh, I need you all to move to China right now and start making me money. I swear to God, if we land on China immediately, um, this is going to be over very quickly. I'm just going to put that out there. It's, it's going to be over very quickly. Oh my God. The, <laughs> the game's actually trying to be helpful. Who do you think this is? All right, what channel do you think you're watching? Helpful? Not, not, not on my watch, buddy. Okay, what have I got left? I got like two minutes left right now. They want a bit of industrial. Okay, we'll get a bit of industrial going. It is China after all, and we're gonna we're gonna whack it over here in the Gobi Desert. Okay, we got one minute left. Uh, the timer is going down. We've got a good starting base here, and um, it's going all right. We're, we're not making too much money, but we aren't losing too much money. Most importantly, and I think we're about to break even, baby. Right as the timer ticks over. Okay, that um, well a part of my beautiful earth is about to go ahead and get wiped off the planet And it's quite close to home. All right, so the meteor isn't really the problem The problem is the secondary wheel that I've had hidden this entire time that decides how big the meteor is And uh, I'm praying to Jeebus, which is me right now. We don't Ten's quite high, but uh, there we go. We got a 10.0 meteor, which I'm pretty sure is the base amount, the highest you can get in vanilla. So, um, sorry about this, Indonesia. All right, we're not going to start the timer for the next five minutes until the meteor has struck. I could go ahead and put some defenses down, but I'll just wait to see what the damage is, really. Strike the city in the near oh. future. Residents Here it should comes. seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Well, that's not that bad. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if Wait. any is available. No, that's pretty bad. Okay. Well, everyone's going to drown, but, you know, that's not that bad. All right, the, the time has started again. We got five minutes to fix this mess. <laughs> but we're, we're making money, baby. All right, so nothing important was damaged, I'm saying, as uh, it appears to be multiple people dying. <laughs> nothing nothing was damaged, though, all right? Just everyone died. Okay, tell you what, we are making a bit of money quite nicely. So we'll, we'll go ahead and start giving these people something to live for after they just 
died. <laughs> there you go. We'll work down a police station. They cost a lot of money, but they do keep the crime down and they do make people happy. And then I think we'll also go whack down a school um, because there is nothing better to bring into this world specifically than children. Uh, when I think of a safe place to raise my children, it's nuclear Armageddon land. Oh, wait, we already are power limit. Okay, that's not okay already. The, this is going to be the big money. The, our big money sink is power. Um, but we got to keep the industry rolling and those big buccarinos coming in. You know, our town is kind of bustling at the moment. We got a lot of people moving in. Uh, this is all natural. Uh, a lot of people having fun in the town, you know. There's loads to do here. Like, uh... Oh, damn, actually, we got a garbage problem. Uh, should we fix that? Should we not just wait for the uh, oncoming onslaught to take our trash out for us? Because I feel like that's probably a better thing to do than simply, well, putting it in this landfill. Although, saying that, if we get a small meteor, we could take out the trash. Don't have to worry about burying it if it's burning into the atmosphere. All right, note to self, never become a politician. My policies would end this earth in seconds. Okay, time is up already. It sure does fly when you are having fun in China. Killing my insides arena wheel. Tell me what's gonna happen. We gonna have a fun one? That's fine. I mean, oh no. Right, I only said that's fine because I think there's a very limited chance of a, of a tsunami getting me from over there. So uh, how big we going? Okay, that's bigger than last time. It should be, should be fine. I don't think this is gonna. Right, that was just a 16. Right, that was only a 16, and those waves almost hit me. Uh, this thing goes up to 25. <laughs> We're gonna have a problem. Oh no, what's, what's going on? You guys have problems too. Citizens are sick. What? I, I put this, I put the sewage outlet right next to the water pipe. That's probably it. Oh, there you go. They, they've all magically gone and better after they stopped drinking sewage water. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not really thinking long term here. It's um, it's a very short term type of world we're living in right now. All right, they, they want more industry, so we're gonna go ahead and whack a few more uh, factories down, which is good. It'll keep the economy flowing, keep the goods produced to keep my people happy and not worrying about the oncoming Armageddon. Yeah, I know I should probably be um, thinking more about the environment because these factories do pump out a lot of pollution, but when the environment is actively throwing meteors at me every five minutes, the environment can go shove itself. Okay, we got a lot of people dying right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna whack down some healthcare, or maybe just a morgue or something, you know? Which is where to put the dead people, just cause, you know, I'm just trying to keep them happy, really. You know, look how happy they are. Just don't tell them what happened in Indonesia and uh, North Africa. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do if that hits China? We got, a, we already got like 50 problems going on. Like that ice cream parlor, all right, has a fire next to it. Who's gonna want to get an ice cream when there's a built? There we go. We'll, we'll replace the burnt out remains of that other building with a fire station as a, you know, reminder to put out the fire. It's, it was raining. God, okay, the population's getting a bit uncontrollable. I haven't put any high density down yet because I'm trying to keep it nice, small, compact because I can control how much money's coming in and we don't have to worry about over expanding and the timer just went. Oh no! I feel like my luck is gonna carry on with no problem. That was really close. And I'm hoping that uh, this could be a very small meaty. Shit. All right. Well, Russia is a big place. Um, it's real, real big. All right. So I'm I'm gonna put it right over here in the heartland of Russia, where all the big cities are. You know, you got uh, St. Petersburg, uh, you got Moscow, stuff like that. And uh, I still feel like that's gonna be so big it might get us. The only thing I really care about is the highway. I can't, I don't want to be constantly, you know, putting down new highways, because I can't afford it. I mean, people are fine, all right? You take the people, don't take the highway. Remember, guys, I'll be running for president one day. <laughs> is available. Oh, that was big. Has occurred, if oh, is that's so big.
I just want to say from future ISP, I didn't realize that was going to sound so bad. Also, if you made it this far into the video, uh, please hit like, subscribe. <laughs> okay, it's a 24 though, all right? We're not going to get a 24 and on China. That's some crazy bizarro luck if we do. Sorry, I don't think luck is probably the word for that. I think we, we should probably be using is misfortune. <laughs> I don't want the people of China, my city, to die. Although, um, they, they seem to be, well... It's just taking a bit of the after blast there, just a little bit. Right, we're doing what I like to call a bit of tactical expansion away from possible nuke zones. My idea is pretty simple, uh, is that if, you know, China gets nuked, uh, well, then a part of me will still survive uh, like a cockroach crawling out of the nuclear wasteland. I think possibly the worst thing that could happen is the highway being completely taken out, though. If that does happen, the only other highway accessible to us is the one all the way down here in Antarctica. I'm just honestly surprised that somehow my society I have created of uh, the planet getting hit by meteors constantly is actually thriving. It's doing quite well. But it is time to drop another meteor on them. And that's Australia. <laughs> all right, uh, Australia, how much damage are you going to do to the world? Uh, that's quite high, actually. That might be tsunami level. Could seek shelter oh. immediately if any Definitely available. just created Mad Max on occurred. Australia. Uh, again, I haven't put down like any flood protection for my my great society because uh, well you know that costs money. Yeah, that's a lot of damage actually. That's uh yeah you you buff out guys. Just uh you got your little feeties wet a bit, you know. Probably had your cat washed out into the sea. <laughs> but you know what? Hey, I did turn Australia into a pretty nice plus you don't have to worry about all those spiders anymore because they've all been evaporated don't worry guys that's not an oil spill that's ship water we are uh, still getting some residual flooding from that whole australia deal which does temporarily knock out my windmills for some reason and uh my, my turbines not being powered means well the the power keeps going on and off all right but what's what's that? It's, you you yeah, now that everything's perfect. You know, I feel like we need to make the most of the opportunity that's been presented here and turn Australia into some sort of resort. There you go, look at that. I've turned it into a cheap tourist location where the tour buses drop people off to check out what was a giant meteor that hit Australia and wiped it out. By the way, there's a floating cafe and uh do be careful, there's still a lot of Australia's famous wildlife hanging out in the water. You might die. That's not our problem, that's yours. Anyway, time for another meteor. Uh, hey, we're safe for another round. You know what? That's pretty good. I say that's pretty good, but the reality of the situation is that every new meteor that hits means the probability of my, my you know, actual city getting hit does go up. And that's gonna stink. Uh, that was not that impressive. Available. Although, uh, I'm hoping that doesn't drown my astray lake. I like how I have to bring in these massive pylons to, uh, power what is essentially a small park. You see those lampposts? Well, we require these to keep them going. Yeah, you know what really complements this tropical garden? Power lines, baby! The city is still there! Hold on a second, I put down a hot air balloon, and, um... It just crashed into the sea immediately. Uh, I wanted I wanted that hot air balloon to go ahead and check out the Astray Lake, but you appear to be more of a submersible type of deal. I, I don't quite understand the logistics of this. Um, this, this seems quite impossible. That, um, what's going on right there? I don't think it works like that. Where is it even going? What are you, are you gonna come back up? No? Hello? Oh? Uh, there you go, it's back! Uh, the occupants have all drowned. But you know what? It's a marvel of technology! Where is it going? Why did you really want to check out the, the South African crater? There's a much bigger one in Australia. I don't know. I, yep. <laughs> back under the sea we go! No bomb! No, I think I'm just gonna re-roll. I, 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 I put that in as a meme. Yeah, I, I think I actually want to see part of the... Uh, I got a bit cocky. Uh, I should have stayed on no bomb. Bigger. If we get like a small one, it should be no problem whatsoever. Ten. A ten. 
All right, we're not gonna be skimpy with this. We're gonna we're gonna whack it down right in the middle, and we're just we're just gonna just gonna take it. Really, there's not much we can do. God, look how much money I'm making though. Look, look, the city's so big. It's on fire, but it's a great place to live, kind of. You know, it was was never really it was nowhere else really to live, and um. Astrologist report oh, that a comes. devastating meteor residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike oh, impact site and the hell lot. Right, so we did wipe out like 2,000 people in the uh, the blast. That's just the initial one. Um, a lot of city is on fire, and I'm pretty sure the fire station was actually around here. So we might have to build a new one. All right, so we repaired to the best of our ability. And uh, now we just have a giant crater that I feel like we could make the most of. There you go, look at that. I put down an amazing park. It's just going to cover the, the bit of a stain on the environment that uh, it's going to look. It's great. It's perfect. No one could tell that that was hit by a meteor. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to like, you know, play into the role play a bit as a Chinese governor. Um, no, no, no. We weren't hit by a meteor. Uh, that we were simply making room for a great new park for the people. All those people that die, uh, die uh, were moved, now live in better places. Come have a go on the trampoline. Spent all my time making that park that it's already, it's meet your o'clock. We're not going to mess around with it. We're going to get straight into it. And you're a piece, baby. Yeah. I got a little distracted. Um, but yeah, there you go. Eastern Europe was an 8.0. And uh, yeah, uh, it's fine. You know, some people are going to drown. But there's a hot air balloon. What's it going? Yeah, this earth is starting to look, uh, it was starting to look very meteory around everywhere. Um, uh, not in China, though. Never been hit. Wink. Ah, oh, perfect. My dictator's public park has a high crime rate. How dare you? <laughs> Got the best feeling in the world. Poor South Africa. Oh, that's actually quite a big impact. That was a 16, and uh, it's going straight for my pleasure resort in Australia. The uh, joke is really on them, though, because my hot air balloon tour can survive quite well underwater. You know that old saying of not building your house too close to the shore? Well, in this scenario, it's actually very true, because the shore is right next to the sewage pipe. Gets to a point in life where you just gotta roll with it and close your eyes, because I don't even need to know who it is. It's South Africa again. Oh, no. Okay, we got a number 20 South Africa coming right up for you. This ain't gonna go too well, though, because I don't, <laughs> there's not really much left to meteor down here. Ah, uh hot -huh, air balloon's having a whale of a time, though. It's the Great Crater Tour, and, you know... Uh, no one survived it yet, because you keep drowning. Oh, there they go. Uh, into the sea. Back to where you came. Uh, this is 20. This is the biggest one we've had for a while. And, yeah. Mercy worried about that. Those waves. You know, I actually got a bit of money. So I'm going to put down a flood wall around Australia. I'm not too worried about the mainland. But if you take down my hot air balloon, I think I might actually cry. Look at that. Two-star park. Pretty impressive for something that was blown into this world. I mean, uh, built. <clears throat> that was so close! Alright, we got a six on a North America, alright? <laughs> I feel like they've they've really gotten off quite easy in this whole thing, really. Yeah, you know. Uh, oh, well, my hand slipped. Oh, I'm slipping. Oh, no. Uh, it's lag. The game's lagging. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, it appears I had a, a mild stroke there, and I accidentally dropped more than one meteor on North America. I, I, I'm really sorry, guys. It, it was a pure accident, believe me. Alright, a small problem I'm having is that I am now expanding to a rate that um, I really feel like a meteor might help slow it down a bit. Uh, it's time for a new one. And no bomb. Okay, we're just going to count no bombs as not counting. But last time I did that, it did land on China. So, theoretically... Excuse me? I don't want to open my eyes. I don't want to open the... Hey! Not bad. I, I don't even know where to put it. I'm just gonna, hold on, I'm gonna close my, hold on, let me go, let me do this. I'm gonna close my eyes, and wherever my mouse is, hopefully it's over China. Well, there you go. 
That's a lot of people. I don't feel too good about this. That's a lot. That's like my major... It's where all the people live. Um, I mean, an eight? It's not that bad, right? Astrologists report it's not that bad. It can't be that bad. It will be fine. Residents I'm going to close my eyes. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and guys, we've got a new park. All right, the way I'm gonna deal with this is just to pretend it never happened. We won't answer any TV radios or news outlets about you know the giant hole and all the people that died because it never happened. They're simply just uh, nothing happened. It's fine. That hole was always there. Look at that, just uh, just covering it up with some houses, you know. Uh, that's. That's fine. Nothing happened. It's completely the the ground. It's always been that charred meteor struck color. All right, people are getting too suspicious. We're gonna we're gonna have to make a big show of this. My sanity might be decreasing, but I feel like we're gonna heat this up. And now we're gonna do two meteors at the same time. So one in North America, and what? South Africa again, why not? Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea because I did the um did the old roulette on how big they should be and uh Yeah. I I mean realistically there's not really much left to take out of South Africa, but two meteors at once. We're gonna end this world at some point. Uh, Astrologists report that yeah, they, that really didn't do too much. Um, got a big wave, Residents but we've survived bigger. And North America. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid now look at two feisty. You know, the world is really starting to burn, and that's what I like. I'm only here to watch it burn to the ground, or in this case, uh, mostly uh, just be succumbed and taken into the sea. Much like the hot air balloons of the world. I never put much uh, thought into how the city was going to look. It's a, it's a complete mess in every single regard. So there's traffic problems pretty much everywhere. There is no resources put down, no facilities, nothing good. But it's making a goddamn profit and people are happy, alright? I don't get it. I don't care to understand it. But come to my park. It's a two-star rating, baby. Hey, what if we held hands in the hole in the ground park, huh? Europe East and Indonesia, wait a second. Right, we've only got 8.0s on them, but uh, Indonesia might be a bit of a problem because that's where the road to the Astray Lake goes, you know? I just realized something. Astrologists report the Earth is flat. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's, um, is that bad? It's just a wave. I don't really care. Wait, actually, I do care about a wave because we have a giant hole in the, in the middle of a city. We're going to have a lake. Uh, Eastern Europe was also going to give us that double wave, but I'm, yeah, I think, for the love of God, don't stay in the in the park. I think our park might have just gone taken it. Uh, the Chinese government is hereby announcing that we've got a brand new uh, man-made lake for everyone to enjoy. Come on down! I'm I'm gonna need a better minister for propaganda. That's for sure. So I, that part was definitely filled with people when the the great <laughs> the great drowning happened. Apparently the park is still functioning. It's just um. It's just underwater, which is, uh, I, I don't think, oh, the kids don't mind. They're still having fun on the trampoline. My city has literally turned into hellspawn. It is everywhere. It is growing endlessly, and it is failing to collapse in on itself. So let's do another meteor. All right, two meteors. Africa. South, again! And, uh, some good art. No! We got a 16. And I don't think I've ever been so sad in my life. My Australia! I mean, at this point, I would love to know the statistics of why South Africa has been so tormented by meteors, but my child's being go. Oh my god, it's gonna be killed. Almost Astrologists heaven. Report that a devastating Astray Lake. Will strike the city in the near future. That cafe floating just got blown up. The hot air balloon, too. 
Residents should seek shelter. I think I might actually cry. I rebuilt it stronger than ever, but there has been some unforeseen consequences, like the fact my tour buses can now merge into concrete. But that's just Australia. None of it makes sense. Uh, well. I, I don't even think I need to see South Africa to show it you guys. It's just a big hole in the ground that keeps getting hit by meteors. What are we gonna get? Is it gonna be good? Europe West! It was almost Africa South again. It was almost Africa South again. I just realized we, actually, we haven't actually hit Western Europe yet. And it's probably for the best because um, it's probably the most confusing to look at, especially Great Britain. That looks more like a hot Cheeto than Great Britain. And uh, yeah, poor, poor Africa once again getting hit. Although, be it, it's not the South, which has been obliterated out of existence. Okay, I kind of ironically put down the bouncy castle in the uh, the Australia Lake Tourist District. And um, it's got eight visitors last week with two tourists. And uh, the sad thing about that, it's getting more than my damn actual floating cafes. Would you like to go through the floating cafe and the irradiated meteor lake or on the bouncy castle? You know, actually, now that I say that out loud. Oh, the water did drain out of the hole in the ground park. And after its um, unfortunate circumstances, it did go ahead and level up to level three. And I'm going to go ahead and knock the ticket price down and see if we can uh, get a few more people in here and get to level five before the oncoming storm. I just realized that eventually, because of the mass amount of sewage I've been pouring into the ocean, uh, Australia is going to become a massive sewage lake. Uh... I kind of like the idea of that though. Okay, I have good faith that this, okay, no bomb doesn't count. We, I don't know why I put that on there. I was expecting this to end pretty soon. Okay, double no bomb. What is my luck? Okay, just give me so. oh my God. What? Okay, no, Africa South. Yeah, it, I should have seen that one coming. We'll do Africa South and then we'll finally end my existence. Uh-oh. Well, if there was ever a fitting way to go out, uh, I think this might be it. Here's a 20 in the middle of my land. I think this might be the end. You know, it was a real fun run as my, my city went. The uh, great city of eternal struggling. We managed to do a quite a lot. Uh, mostly the watch the demise Residents of the southern half of Africa. And, uh... Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents well, that's all of the progress gone we've made. Any site I, I mean, South Africa also got hit, but... South Africa hasn't even existed for the past an hour of gameplay anyway. It's just been another part of the ocean. Yep, that, that definitely wiped out everything I ever cared about. Uh, the hole in the ground park doesn't exist. Well, it does exist. A few of the food stands are still there. A couple of the flowers, you know, they're still going strong. But the actual park has been obliterated completely. Uh, now, I'm not too sure how we're going to swing this one in the press. Uh, I might just say somebody left the oven on and a bit of the city burnt down. Which bit? We, we can't clarify or name, but just know that it's under control. Why not take a break to Australia? Have a fun time on the bouncy castle for a limited time offer. Well, I think it's, uh, needless to say, the end of the great city of eternal struggling. We had a fun run. It was great. I don't really have a strong um, concept of just how the odds worked and why South Africa is such a meteor magnet. But I I'm pretty sure that nothing makes sense in this world. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the City Skyline's new little game thing that I came up with. Um, it was pretty fun to play. Uh, I was sweating the entire time at the thought of my progress being lost, considering I, I did such a great job. And also because it's 35 degrees right now. I'm melting. I'm dying. Please hit the sub button. And leave a like. And why not leave a comment too to help my channel grow and survive? Because, oh boy. Surely more people need to watch this. <laughs>
<laughs> but, uh, yeah, my, my city is actually depopulating right now. It's over. The world has been annihilated. A stray lake reigns supreme!